Before F1 TV, there was GP2, and before Drive to Survive, there was still Will Buxton. Netflix might have shot you a little bit more in the public eye, but you've been doing this for a long while, hence the F1 Feeder Series podcast that you're joining. It's so different now, but you must have so many good memories from those days doing GP2, GP3, doing the stuff with was it NBC and uh, yeah. Fox? Fox, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, my first year, my first, my, uh, my, I got my first job in 2002 working at Formula One magazine. Mm. Um, and I, I spent some time, you know, living in a camper van, driving from race to race in Europe as a freelancer back in 2004. And I always used to love spending time in the Formula 3000 paddock back then. Formula 3000, Jayhan was what GP2 was called before it was GP2. GP2 yeah. then became Formula. I know you're too young to remember all this. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, I love spending time in the F3000 paddock because it was where, you know, the next generation of talent was coming from. So you were hanging out with guys like Enrico Toccello and um, Tonio Liuzzi and Pantano and Ernesto Viso and all those kids. It was, it was great. It was a really, really great time. Um, and Verdheim and, you know, all those guys. And they were the ones trying to make it to F1. And I thought, well, I'm kind of same age as these guys, so I want to get to know them. And and then and then um, I got offered the job as press officer for GP2 when it started. So I was um, Alexa, who everyone knows is the you know the press officer for Formula Two and Formula Three. Not, not Amazon's a, Alexa. Alexa. No, not Amazon's Alexa. No, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa. She's she's a, she's a, she's amazing. She's one of the best press officers. I've, oh God, my Alexa just <laughs> shouted at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, she's one of the best press officers I've ever worked with ever and um and and I was Alexa for the first three years of of GP2 GP3 um and well GP3 didn't exist but then just GP2 so PR the Rosberg championship year and the Hamilton championship year and the the Timo Glock championship year which was which was huge fun and it it was great because the series had just started and and it was a real kind of close-knit community and just really happy times really really fun times of, of going through this you know, the start of something which ended up being really, really good and, and created so many amazing names and, and incredible careers and set so many great drivers on their path to to stardom and, you know, which then morphed into Formula 2 and Formula 3 and, you know, took us to where we are now. So, yeah, it was 20 odd years ago, mate. Long time. Loved it. Loved every second of it. Mm-hmm.